Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. We're at the backyard. It's Monday, and uh, show them that right there, what you did. Interior design. Well, it's going to be a little different. Let me get a little closer where I can see. You see the backyard? Yeah. Right there? Yeah, yeah. That's actually going to go above the fence. Okay. Like Wilson? We, yeah, and they're going to be red and rusty and stuff. Like it. We just... Uh, just got them up for the weekend. Yeah, we got it up for the weekend, wanted something just on the fence, just where it wouldn't be playing. And, and that fence deal looks good, man. It looks really good. Uh, La Casa de Cox. Uh, Casa de Cox. It's pouring down rain, and I want to tell you why we did this, because I got the new puppy, and now she's as big as uh, Sadie, and she is house trained perfectly. She is not quite people trained, and she is very clingy. You know what I mean? Clingy. So if we put her outside, which on a good day, it's not a big deal because her and the dogs are outside. But today, like today, she's going to bark. She's going to be a pain in the butt. So I said, can we just do the show at your house today? Well, if you lean this way a little, that one right there doesn't like the storm either. So mama didn't sleep much. Well, because she kept barking. Bit in and, no, they don't bark. Just in and out of the, in and out of the cover. In and out oh, of the cover. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... She don't like it either. But at least they don't bark at it and whine. Yeah. Mine's the same way. If you got pet, mine don't. They don't do. The other two are fine, but the little one just is not got accustomed to being calm yet. Right. So well, I, I got uh, I do this that. little chest deal going on, and uh, I took me some meds. Is that good? Till about 3.30, then I was kind of tossing and turning. I got up at 3 o'clock and it was lightning. So, this weekend, down at the backyard, and oh, before I do that, do you guys like us being on location and not always in the studio? Yeah. Somebody did ask me, they like, dude, I like it when I see y'all here, there, and I like the studio, but the studio is really for our sponsors. Our sponsors so <clears throat> I want to try to get something to where if we're on location, like we could have the iPad or something and put the sponsors on it. So that that is key because we want you to see them all. Um, what's the what's the what? Not everybody. Not everybody has brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Okay, and some people have brothers and sisters. Like I got a brother, <clears throat> but to be honest with you, this is basically my brother. <clears throat> Agree. I have not shared anything with my brother. We don't get along. No big deal. Long story short, people that know it, great. If you don't, no big deal. But how do you how do you pick blood over non-blood as a family member? We're brothers, basically. We just didn't, don't have the same. But how, mom how and dad. do you choose me over your real brother? Yeah. <clears throat> well, your your real brother made that bed. Oh, I totally agree. Not you. So, yeah. uh, I don't know. Usually. This, this comes up in a situation of a guy or a girl has a new boyfriend or something and a lot of times they choose to make them happy and not the kid or uh, yeah. not the other family members. I think that's usually where it comes in and it is that circle has to stay, your, your, your little bubble you want to be happy all the time and that girl or that guy's in it and sometimes you just forget what's outside yeah. of there. When it comes to you and me, it's just, uh, dude, you're the only person who knows knows my life. Yeah, I am. Are those my keys? And I'm going to call Waco and the surrounding areas out real quick. Is that okay. all right? Call them out. Hey, can the backyard do something other than country music? Can we do something other than Texas country? Okay. You better be ready. So you get we called did. out. Eddie Money. So there better be a good showing by you rock guys. Well, or we might make the decision that there's no more Eddie Money. Well, the thing is, <clears throat> the thing that you better remember is those Texas countries that are selling out, that are doing good, Eddie Money's a li little bit more, so we went out on a limb. And it takes a lot more oh. to get him set up. He's coming in on an airplane, which means he's not bringing the drums, oh. the cymbals, the mics. 
So we have to, so we have to supply all that for them. So it, it's, it's not a big deal. It just makes it a lot tougher on the venue. Big deal. So, what I'm saying is, get on the horn, get your friends. We know it's a little bit more expensive ticket, but if you drove to Dallas, you'd be paying 40 or 45 plus a room plus gas. So you have no excuses. I'm calling you out, Waco. If you won't rock at our venue, you better show your ass up. Oh, that's it. Show's over. Until uh, Monday. Uh, this, I think this might even be tomorrow's show. I just might post this part right here. You just post the just ending. Post yeah, this fine. ending part right here. Waco has been called. The Central Texas has been called out. I mean, Sebastian Bach. Skid is ready is ready for us to sign and Skid there's a Rope. lot of people who want to see him. 18 and okay i'm sorry so eddie money show april 22nd M makes or breaks sebastian bach i'm telling april you april 22nd get your tickets we have to sell we have to sell out we have to sell out to break even and i'm fine with that I'm learning the music business now so so, so, so. but a, a sellout with eddie money would make us very comfortable in Bring us doing other, I agree. other acts that way because it is a pain in our butt to bring those national places, national guys down. So, anyway, till tomorrow, till Monday, man. I am Russ. This is Chris. Like and share. We're out of here.